G'day guys, so I want to introduce you to another dog we've got here on the farm. Um, we are fostering a little boxer puppy called Barney. This is Barney. Hey Barney boy. Hi mate. Good boy. Oh boy. Yeah, well done mate. Good job. So Barney has had uh, a little bit of a rough start to life and he comes from some really bad backyard breeders who um, you know, because of their breeding, he's he's got a few medical conditions. And so he's born without a tail and he's also got a condition called anal stricture, which basically makes it almost impossible for him to go to the toilet by himself. Um, so he, the breeder then did some further damage by trying to, um, you know, manually pull it out himself, uh, which, you know, caused some issues and so took him to the vet and the vet basically said there's only one way around this we go in for surgery cost five thousand dollars or you put the dog down um so he surrendered the dog to boxer rescue network australia um so they obviously took on barney and then of course paid for the surgery for him um but unfortunately the first surgery didn't work so then they were faced with a second surgery um, however, the vet said that if they do a second one, um, you know, there's going to be um, incompetent, incontinent for life, basically. Um, so, you know, they have had quite a few applications for him, but apparently as soon as they mention that he's fecal incontinent, uh, they all withdraw, uh, which is a quite surprising to myself and Sam. Sam's been following Boxer Rescue Network Australia for quite a while and we saw Barney on there um, a few months ago and, you know, Boxer Puppy, we just assumed he's going to get snapped up, no trouble at all. There won't be any problem with him finding a home. And now recently they posted again saying that he's still looking for, you know, a foster carer. Um, and being six months old and being a boxer, uh, you know, we know how social they are. We know how high energy they are, how, um, you know, happy they are when they're coming to the farm. And this poor guy has spent the first, or his whole life in and out of surgeries and in recovery. Um, and, you know, hasn't really had the opportunity to socialize or play or have fun and run around. Um, and, you know, the guidelines for the Boxer Rescue Network Australia are that you're not allowed to go to dog parks. You're not allowed to take the dogs off lead in public. And it's all designed for, this, for the safety of the dog. Um, but, you know, it means that poor Barney hasn't had any, uh, any fun or socialisation or, um, you know, real exercise for, for, for him. So we've decided to foster him, uh, become foster parents for him. And, you know... Um, Get him to have some fun on the farm, get introduce him to the pack, introduce him to the games that we have here. Um, and as far as, you know, him being incontinent, it's um, something that life on the farm here with uh, the dogs, poo is just a way of life. And it's, you know, something that doesn't affect us. So, um, you know, we thought, well, Let's 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 get him out here. Let's uh, let's get him out. Let's get him social. Let's let him have some fun. Let's get him fit, run around, be a boxer, be a, a, a happy, uh, high energy boxer that he is. And so it's his first day here. We've been running around. We've um, introduced him to all the dogs, and he seems pretty happy. He seems like a really good natured boy. Uh, however, he does wear nappies or undies uh, inside because he has no control over his bowels. Um, he doesn't realise that he's doing it. He, he still will uh, supposedly go to the toilet and will crouch when he knows he's got to go. But then he doesn't realise that, um, you know, it just comes out sometimes. So um, we're excited to have him here at the farm. And we're, we're really, really impressed with how quickly he's adapted to this many dogs. And he's, he's really, you know, open to interacting with the dogs. And a lot of the time when a dog has had, 
next to no social encounters with other dogs, they can be quite nervous or intimidated or um, fear aggressive, all those things. And he's just shown, you know, really positive signs that he wants to have fun. He wants to introduce to the other dogs. Um, you know, it's really positive. It's really, really good. He, he, he doesn't have many manners though, as far as the introducing the other dogs go. So this is Barney. Hey, Barney boy. Yeah, good boy, mate. Good boy. He's a happy dog, isn't he, Fredo? Hey? Yeah, hi, cutie pie. Hi, mate. So we won't have his undies on or his nappy on, um, you know, while he's outside running around. Uh, but when he's inside on the couch and in the house, uh, it's just on as a precaution. And, you know, there's no guarantee that it's going to improve. Although uh, they have said that, you know, they're, they're noticing that it's happening uh, a little bit less often. Um, but like I said, poo for us is just a, another part of life. You know, most of the days we get uh, 40 to 60 poos a day that I pick up and it's not an issue. You just get on with it. Um, every now and again, you might get a dog that uh, goes to the toilet inside or, you know, whatever. You just clean it up and then go make yourself coffee and move on. So it's not going to affect us here at the farm. We're just happy that um otherwise he's healthy uh, it's just that you know side effect from having that surgery um, and it potentially uh, or likely is going to be lifelong so uh, you're going to see a fair bit of barney he's going to have a crash course in farm life and then he'll meet the rest of the pack hello boy hello mate hi buddy and then I'll meet the rest of the farm pack uh, next Monday when they all turn up. So it's going to be a bit of a uh, uh, intense day for him. Uh, he won't be doing the full day though. He is only a young puppy. He's not fit. Um, he's only just starting to really do some exercise um, today because he's never been let off lead in public before. Um, you know, and even recovering from two surgeries it's a long recovery process. So, you know, the, the last foster care family, um, you know, wanted to still get him out even though he couldn't exercise. And so took him out in a pram just to get him out and about and see some sights and smells, which is amazing. Um, and so now we're going to focus on, you know, letting him run, letting him grow, letting him develop, um, letting him have fun, uh, introduce him to all the exciting things and get him fit and, um, social and happy and confident. Hey mate, what do you reckon? Oh yeah, oh yeah, good boy, good boy. Yeah, you're doing real well, aren't you mate? Hey, good boy. What right, guys, so that's Barney the Boxer. Good boy mate, good dogs. Good boy, buddy. Boy. Free! Good boy, buddy! He's yeah, so well done. Well done. Hello, mate. Hello, buddy. Oh, big licks from Orange. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good boy. 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 Good boy
That's not a dispute. Chase. Yeah, because I'm pushing it out. <laughs> 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 the biggest run he's ever had. He wanna live here. <laughs> <laughs> <laugh